How to remove network chain from MetaMask. Hello guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, we want to talk about the networks. So as you can see, I have my MetaMask added into my browser. As you can see, it's an extension. So if I go into my extensions, you're gonna see the MetaMask. I can just pen it so I can see it right above in here. Now, let's say that you have the Ethereum network and you want to dismiss or delete the network now in this case you are not able to delete networks per se but you can hide the networks that you've been using so let's say i have the test networks uh, available so if i enable this one and i go back into my metamask you're going to see that all the networks that are on test networks are now available and if i click where it says local host i can go and select this one it says delete network but this one just allowed me to do it because it was my local network. So if I add this new network into my MetaMask wallet and I try to delete this, it's gonna happen the same thing. So I'm gonna go into show and hide. So I can disable this. You're gonna see that the smart chain is still in here. So if you don't want to see the in a specific network and you can delete the item, what I strongly recommend you guys is to delete so if you want to get rid into in a specific network into your MetaMask, I strongly recommend you guys to quit the extension and try to install that again. So as you can see right here, I have two uh, networks. I have the Ethereum in it and I have the Smart Chain. So what I want to do now is to select my extension and remove this from my browser. So I'm going to remove this. And what I want to do is to install my MetaMask again. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to add the extension. And after I import my wallet from MetaMask, I'm going to go into all down. And I'm going to select my networks. And as you can see, this smart chain is no longer in my network. So if I want to add it uh, again, I have to do that manually. So that's the only way that we can do uh, to either not showing or hide or delete in a specific network, guys. So. You don't have to worry about your tokens, by the way, because your tokens are in your wallet. So if you delete the MetaMask, it's still going to be into your wallet. So there you have it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about MetaMask. And I'll see you guys in the next one.